I wanted to go back and play Modern Combat 5 in order to see how the game is doing now late here in 2023. A bit of a thing or a series that I like to do now and then here on my channel where I go back and play some older shooters that I've played before. Sometimes games that I've played a lot, but when it comes to Modern Combat 5, not so much. However, when I started up the game once more, I was reached by this message from the developers. Thank you for being a part of Modern Combat 5. We're sorry to inform you that Modern Combat 5 will not be available to access on the Steam platform after December 1. We hope you have enjoyed being a part of Modern Combat 5. Please ensure all remaining currencies are spent before this date. So the game is now about to become sunset or terminated. Too bad of course when it comes to the small community that are still playing Modern Combat 5. At least when it comes to the numbers here on Steam, meaning playing on PC. Because before I downloaded the game, I did check the Steam charts regarding MC5 and as you can see, there's not many people playing anymore or any longer, at least not via Steam, meaning on PC. 22 players on average is very low and we can see a steady trend going downwards from about 4 months ago, meaning August this year. I guess the lack of a crossplay possibility in Modern Combat 5 is also a reason why the numbers are low. But what is Modern Combat 5 and what are the reasons that the game has slowly died and therefore are getting terminated now? Well, Modern Combat 5, which is also known as Modern Combat 5 Blackout, is developed by Gameloft Bucharest. It was released in 2014 at first on iOS, Android, Windows Phone 8, Windows 8.1 and BlackBerry 10. And then in 2018 for Windows via Steam and for Nintendo Switch in 2019. It is also the first game in the series that was developed by Game of Bucharest. So it's the fifth installment of the Modern Combat series and therefore a sequel to Modern Combat 4 Zero Hour. So you had to buy the former game, meaning Modern Combat 4, in order to play it, but they choose to release Modern Combat 5 as a free-to-play title. But as we know, with a free-to-play game, there will instead be a monetization system in the game. And just after a few matches that I've had, or had, doing this video, I realized that MC5 seems to have a very strong pay-to-win monetization system, where you're able to spend your money in order to buy better weapons and gear. Unfortunate since this by itself will make a lot of people uninstall the game quite soon since it creates an unbalance in the game and also seems unfair to those that just aren't willing to spend money in a free to play game. Sure, the developers need to earn money somehow, we've talked about that in other videos, but most modern shooter developers nowadays knows what problems a monetization system like this creates, and therefore choose to only offer options to buy cosmetics when it comes to the characters in the actual game, or camos for guns. I guess with that said, we're getting into the section where we should talk about possible reasons why MC5 has slowly died as a game and is therefore just weeks away now from being taken down. The monetization system in the game is most likely one reason. I've also checked out some threads and discussions that might be other reasons why the game has been going downhill for some time. The game seems to be suffering from cheaters and hackers as well, which is not unique in any way, especially when it comes to a free-to-play FPS game, but it's still sad reading, I must say, since this is definitely a reason why people also shy away from different games. Let me know your thoughts here and experience when it comes to that in the comments. People has also mentioned lack of updates as one reason. And also we have to put in there that there has been increased competition. Other games, for example, when it comes to the mobile genre, but also a game that I've been playing on PC is Call of Duty Mobile. And other titles coming out later that, you know, got a lot of interest and traction. Games such as Fortnite, for example, and others. It also has a campaign mode, but it seems to be quite short. And I guess that also adds to the lack of content kind of section in this video. I guess some people also like the PvE aspect more in a shooter game than the actual PvP action. And when we look into the multiplayer and the different game modes, there aren't that many game modes to choose from. It doesn't seem as they have added really so much from, from the start. The BR mode, which is the Battle Royale mode, yes, it's actually Battle Royale mode in the game. I guess it hasn't been doing that well. I think the main reason is also because 
the game originally wasn't designed for that. Well, the pay to win model we've talked about, it's just there and it gives you the opportunity to buy better weapons or better armor perks and it creates this unbalance. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is. I also see people talk about the performance, the overall performance of the game, meaning game optimization. And one of the reasons might be that there aren't any dedicated servers from what I can see or read. Which of course in itself then makes it harder also to improve the gameplay experience. So I guess that's things that has definitely been around uh, causing problems for the game when it comes to not being able to continue to grow when it comes to the game but also the community. Again it would be nice to hear from you guys as well that have been playing the game quite some. But does that mean that Modern Combat 5 is a bad game and therefore deserves to die? Not necessarily. I mean, I had some fun and good moments when playing once more, even though we've already mentioned some of the issues with the game. I guess I enjoy the simplicity and straightforward action, since that's how many FPS games felt and played back in the days. Before developers went ham and implemented as much as possible into their games, following the mantra, more is better, which isn't always the case. So a bit of an old time kind of FPS experience and flashback is at least always appreciated in my book. But here we are at the end of November in 2023 and Modern Combat 5 is soon to be shut down. I'm glad though that I got a chance very much by pure luck I have to say to download the game once more in order to do this video especially before it is taken down even though the actual topic of the video became something quite different from what I had planned initially. But with that said I want to say thank you for watching and as mentioned earlier feel free to let me know your thoughts and experiences in the comments since I do read them all and try to answer as much as I can. And if you enjoy a variety of FPS games and content then and consider to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out when I'm posting another video. With that said, have a great day now and game on.